Hi guys, and this is Jared. I think it has really been a while. Where am I going? First off, I am actually flying to the US. This is why I'm taking QF11 from Qantas and flying to Los Angeles. Apparently this is going to be a 14 hour flight and yeah, I don't know what to do really, like 14 hours, like I haven't flew that long before but anyway, at the moment if you want to know, I'm actually at the AMS lounge and I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee before I fly off yeah, FYI, if you got an applicable AMS card, you actually get to come to this lounge for free. And I mean, it's nothing really special, but it's a nice place to chill compared to going to the boarding gate directly. So, cheers to that, and we'll embark on our adventure really soon. As soon as I got to my seat, with me being the faux pilot flight reviewer for the first time, I immediately check out the seat features. I guess the personal television will be what keeps me entertained for the next 14 hours, so I'm looking forward to that. Check out this one. The seat pocket in front of me might seem a little bit small, but that actually fits quite a few of my personal items. My passport holder, toiletry bag and a book. For all the aviation geeks out there, I'm flying on an Airbus A380-800 and the economy class has a configuration of 343. But with this being a jumbo plane, this still leaves quite some room for each person and it wouldn't be too cramped. I have to say, one big plus of flying with Qantas is that the pre-departure in-flight safety video is so well produced. Look at this, doesn't that get you so excited about travelling to your next destination? Remember that you keep the seatbelt fastened. Get you play, but nobody okay, let's check out the entertainment system. But I have to say, the response time is a bit slow and it does take longer than usual to have the content loaded. I can show you here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. No editing whatsoever, it did take a full 10 seconds to get the movies loaded. But the upside is that they do include quite some good selections, from HBO original drama series to National Geographic documentaries, they have it all. Continue on with the seat features. Unfortunately, I had to sit in the middle seat, but luckily there is an adjustable headrest, so that means I still have something to lean onto while I want to sleep. Isn't too bad, eh? Just as we get up to 30,000 feet in the skies and the seat belt light is off, of course the first thing to do is to recline the seats and relax. But it seems like my mate's seat recline isn't working, yet the cabin crew sounded a little bit annoyed and didn't offer him an alternative seat. And instead, she asked him to use the button underneath the seat to recline. So that's points deducted for this flight experience. But luckily, the amenity pack here did gain quite a few points back. And I have to say this is quite a thoughtful move from Qantas considering this is a 14 hour flight. If you're wondering what's in there, they have earplugs, an eye mask, toothbrush and toothpaste. It's quite basic but this is pretty much all you need for a long haul flight. Okay, as a food vlogger, here comes my favourite bit, in-flight meals. Instead of going through what the menu offers, might as well just show you what I had throughout the flight. But before I eat anything, I always get a bottle of water from the flight attendants. Especially for long haul flight, it's important to keep hydrated. Thank you so much. Like sardine, and here comes lunch time. This is our first meal for this flight. They have a few options to choose from. So I got the roast chicken with parmesan cream and roasted potatoes, whereas my mate got the self and style beef with fries. I also picked the merlot to go with my dish. For me, I think the chicken was really tender and it goes really well with the creamy sauce with cheese. Look at my happy face. <laughs> it would be perfect if I can have seconds though. I smash it in like a few minutes. I have to say the garlic bread was a really nice touch as most of the airlines would only serve plain bread, so I'm actually quite impressed with the hot garlic bun here. And for dessert, they have passion fruit raspberry eaton mess. It's good but it's something that you can get from the supermarket. 
Just as everyone is enjoying their meals, I tried to sneak out and check out the bathroom. In general, the bathroom was in a hygiene condition, and they also have their own Qantas branded hand wash in the bathroom. As I continue to check around the bathroom, I notice that there is this tiny knob on my left, which surprisingly is actually a fan. This is quite thoughtful because, you know, you might get a little bit hot while you are getting your business done. Enough with the toilet talk, let's get back to my seat. Hey, they got running man. If you guys don't know, it is a Korean variety TV show. Quite impressed with the multicultural entertainment options in the system. You might get a bit anxious on a long haul flight, so these meditation tracks would definitely help calm you down. Another thoughtful addition by Qantas added to this flight experience. T plus 3 hours and lights are turned off to let us fall asleep. I couldn't fall asleep though, so I just started listening to some K-pop songs on my phone. Because I missed the hot chocolate run, I had to ring the bell and ask the flight attendants to bring me one to my seat. I know, I usually would go into the galley and ask for one myself, but this time around it is a little bit difficult because I am having the middle seat. Understandable why the cabin crew looked a little bit annoyed when she walked over and brought my hot chocolate to my seat. Oh well. Anyway, they used Cadbury chocolate and it was super creamy. It is a perfect way to top off the lunch, despite the attitude from the cabin crew. 14 hours is long right, but Qantas did a great job in keeping us well fed throughout the flight. First up is Waze ice cream. The passion fruit flavour was amazing. 14 minutes later, they give us cheese and crackers, chocolate biscuits and an apple. I think these are good snack selections when I'm watching Home Alone too. You know what they say, even though when you're on the flight, you still want to keep the doctors away, right? An hour later, if you are still awake, congrats and your reward is this big beef and mushroom pie. It's perfect when you put some ketchup on top. The beef gravy inside was very flavoursome and the pastry was well baked and crunchy too. After all this food, I just had a food coma and fell asleep for a good 4 hours. It's not the most comfortable seat, just like any other economy class flights, but it's definitely bearable. An hour and 43 minutes before landing, I smelled the food and that woke me up. Hey Jeff, wakey wakey, I think it should be breakfast time now right? They also gave you a banana bread loaf. The aroma of the banana definitely helps wake me up. For breakfast, they have two choices. A hot breakfast of spinach frittata and sausages, or a fruit platter. You probably know which one I would pick. The frittata was packed with a lot of fillings like spinach and bacon, but the tomato chutney on the side was definitely needed to give it a little bit more flavours. And wrapping up my breakfast is the Greek yogurt and granola. I'm glad that the breakfast isn't too oily and heavy, and the selections are relatively more healthy as well. 13 minutes before landing, it's time to buckle my seatbelt and prepare for landing. 